feeding frenzy. I love their tucker. Good evening. Yes, I'm actually out in my studio just early evening. So I'm going to try and do a quick little pour just because I just found a new discovery at the weekend and I just want to try it out again. My new discovery was, I probably can't get these in Australia, but these paints my friend Jilly sent to me from England. Um, no, she, she bought them over when she came and stopped with me. They're PBO. And I just mix them with um, just water. I just wanted to do a really thin mix. And they're really high viscosity. Rouge, rouge. Okay. Uh, um, I just mix them with water because I wanted to do a Dutch pour with them. So I did the Dutch pour it blew out perfectly fine but as usual I just did too much um I did I covered the canvas I didn't end up liking it so I ended up swiping it and I just got the most amazing effect from just this paint and water with a swipe of this was been mixed for over a week now and it's just like a charcoaly black it looks like I put some silver in it because it's glistening metallic and uh, this was just with my it certainly wasn't with Floetrol because every time I mix anything with Floetrol I write it on my cup so this was just mixed with my PVA and water there is I don't believe there's any silicone in this um, there's certainly no silicone in the PBO paints that I mixed up so I just had the most amazing effects that I want to try and see if I get them again. So, here we go. Um, I'll show you what I mean if it comes out. So it's kind of just retrialing what I got previous from this kind of webbing. Just, just the most stunning cells. So um, it just was something new and exciting that I discovered. So just using basically paint and water um, okay let's do this this is uh, well, this one is the white studio Montmartre studio acrylics and I just mixed this one it did have a little bit of the glue and water mix but um, mostly water because I've done it really thin and runny so I wanted to I probably didn't need to do it so runny for this particular type of pour that I'm going to attempt with this now so I'll just see if I can coat the paint all over I mean it, I don't want to do it perfect or anything but I'm just just coating my canvas with this white paint because this is what I did for the pour that I just had turn out you know pretty amazing for um, just water and paint so I'm not not going over the top because I am going to do a swipe because that's how I got these amazing cells that I've got in it um, if I've gone on and too excited a welcome welcome um, it is Jilly Q from Sunshine Coast in Queensland and I'm working with these PBO paints that Jilly bought me from UK so without further ado I'm going to just do some squiggles so kind of like Mr Wiggles squiggles all over my canvas so it's kind of just another art lab experience that I hope comes out so we just give it a go remember your art room your rules your way so 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 i hope you guys are all going well you're all keeping occupied entertained by something doing some things that you love keeping family and friends close 
whether it be by phone or FaceTime, always we all need somebody, that's for sure. We all need somebody. So I'll have to see if I can get these PBO paints. I'll have to contact my Capriole Shabby Chic and see. But I know Jilly bought them over from the UK, so um, I don't know. I actually haven't had a good look on the particular paints to see where they're made. I will do that. But this was just another alternate for people in the UK can obviously get these in Europe. Um, I know you can get the Montmartre because it's on Amazon now, basically worldwide. But they've really got a sheeny shine in them. Unbelievable. So this is kind of going to be carnival fireworks and all of those kind of things, I believe, when I finished. Look at the colours though. So vibrant. So vibrant. Excellent. My dogs, are you coming in or out, Benson? In or out? You can stay with mommy. Just shut the door before all the flies start, well, the sort of midges start coming in because it's night time here, or just coming on tea time. I've got my dinner ready, so husband's not home yet, so I thought head into the studio. Why not? Okay. They are some real, real carnival of colours in there. Carnival of colours. All good. Just wanted to use those last bits up. It's kind of a sandy colour. Wowzers, trousers. There we go. All good. All good. Oops, that was a blob. But never mind. It'll all come good in the wash, I'm pretty sure. So this is very runny paint, so just <laughs> a gentle tilt. I'll have to try it with the paints thicker. As I said, I mixed this particular batch to be um, a Dutch pour to be blown. So that's why they are so thin. But this is the particular consistency that I got such good results with. So I'll just go with the flow. Pour my heart out. There you go. All the names that... That's it. Look how vibrant those colours are. Pretty amazing. So, now this is definitely the Montmartre with the black and I've added silver because I don't think I've got black metallic. So, and it looks... So I know when I've been testing out my... So I'm just going to put that along the top. Let's see how we go. Just grabbing a... Um, soft plastic file divider and this dog wants to go out so yes this is real life go on Ben good boy Edison good boy okay that's got him out um but the vibrancy in these paints and the sheeny shiny pretty unbelievable look at that yeah I'm getting the same results look at that it's like fireworks going off in front of your eyes. Pretty exciting, yes. I still get exciting in the art excited in the art room when things that you haven't tried just just appear before your eyes, which is what's happening with these particular cells. This is exactly what happened with the previous one I did, which I was over the moon with. Um, then I've got my heat gun. So I'm not sure the actual brand of this particular one. I know I got it from my Capriole Shabby Chic. Somebody asked me the brand. And it's got 300 watts on the side. And the, it's a heat embossing tool. And just slowly heat it up and you just watch the fireworks begin as the paint heats oh my goodness oh look at the colors coming oh that's it 
Yep, it worked again. Wow. They are deliciosa. Look at this. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. So that was the paint real thin. So I will have to try this now if I thicken the paints up with my normal pouring. Well, no, I'll just try them with water because look at this. I think it's obviously it's maybe only the black because the black has got I think it may have I'm not sure so that's uh, hopeless but look at this as the paint's heating up those cells cells within cells within cells pretty special I think I mean Obviously you don't have to do your whole canvas in cells and it's not all about the cells. It's nice to, you know, have cells through things. So I might actually try a little flip, a little um, flip and drag through to see if we can get some negative space and just those cells through an area. But look at those. Oh my goodness. They're just gorgeous gorgeous so that's just gonna try which I haven't with the previous one I just want to see what if I can balloon it or because it's just water maybe it'll be too no oh look at the fireworks I'm gonna balloon in those big blobby areas but not that there's many of those very runny so if my table or your table isn't completely level which I've got a spirit level there. This will slide because it is so runny, the paint. But my other one has dried perfectly. And the only thing being that my table wasn't level when it was drying and it kind of has run. I'll pick it up and show you in a second. Just want to do these around the outside. Look at that, fireworks fireworks we all need a few fireworks in our life that's for sure wow love it i love it when i find new things that work <laughs> i suppose we all do so lots of people are saying oh thought your balloon work was so easy to do till i tried it and and some people desperately want to get to, to do it and it work and they're not having it work uh, recommendation is if you're doing if you want to do the balloon kisses sometimes it's well worth leaving your canvas for at least 20 minutes for the paint to absorb into the canvas so when you come to balloon you can push it you know way down without taking the paint off it if you've got enough paint to fall back in sometimes you can have your paint fall back in and lose the shape of a balloon kiss which still looks quite nice um, but just persevere it's just all in the the actual paint consistency I believe and sometimes like I said it needs to dry off a bit to work better but yeah just push it in and lift it off put that there so that's a bit I don't want to go anymore with the um, balloons because I, you know, addiction, you see, I just go at it with the balloon and just balloon it and balloon it. So there you go. It is a carnival fireworks, fireworks night. I know it's, it's oh, it's a, we, I think we are close to bonfire night or fireworks night as it used to be or, or Guy Fawkes. But look at that. It's definitely... Um, Carnival of fireworks. That's what I'm going to call it. Carnival colors fireworks Gorgeous love it love it. So I'll be trying some different styles with these particular paints For basically the UK and Europe people can get these really easily. So my friend Jilly says I will try and find out off Jilly where she actually got them from 
So wait for the end and I'll show you some dried pigs. Oh, I'll show you the one I did before. Now, as I said, this was very runny. So what ended up happening is it slid off my canvas overnight because I didn't have these work surface level. But look at this, this is, look, this is all fully dry now. Oh, this feels a little bit tacky in the center there, but look at the cells on it. It was, and that was the exact same process that I've just done, but I did it over a um, Dutch pour that I didn't like. So the video has already been up. You will have seen this one, but yeah. So it sort of just went off to the right because the paint traveled because my table that I uh, left it to dry on wasn't obviously completely level and it needed to be very level with when you're using uh, quite thin paints, but I just loved it. So thank you guys for joining me. Thanks for subscribing to my channel. Really appreciate it. And if you haven't done so, please do so. If you are an avid watcher of my channel, just check your subscription, either unsubscribe and resubscribe because um, YouTube's having problems with not notifying people that have subscribed and hit the notification bell. Not sure why, but that's what I've been told. So sometimes it's worth unsubscribing, resubscribing, hitting the notification bell. Hopefully you'll get notified, but every single day I have a video come out um, every day so you know there will be one there so hop over to my channel uh, where I have lots of playlists for beginners sealing and varnishing mixing paints all sorts of things on there so everything you'll need to know even a loads of beginners videos so bye for now thanks for joining me until tomorrow take care people